That's not one. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, we're this way. I wrestle for the world title tonight. It's pretty sick, I know. I know. Look at your eye. <laughs> I don't know when this video is gonna come out. I don't know if it'll ever come out. I don't even know if I'm gonna use this footage. Oh, but this tree is nice. This painting is nice. This couch is nice. This is a good setting to film anything. But <laughs> we are in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, which is my hometown. Uh, I don't know. I figured I would document a little bit of it, even if it's just for something short. Last night was great. We got to do the toy drive at Bounty Hunter Toys. That was extremely special to me um, to be able to give back to the city that made me who I am. And uh, it was a very positive thing. And a lot of awesome people came out to donate a lot of familiar faces, people uh, that I haven't seen forever. Coworkers from jobs that I forgot I even had. It was great. It was a big blast from the past, I guess. But tonight is Dynamite and Rampage, so. I'm excited to see what happens. I'm excited to see what part I play in um, tonight. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have tons of family and friends there. So it's uh, super exciting for that. This is a really big deal. This is like a venue that uh, I've watched a bunch of shows in. A venue that my father took me to when I was a kid. One that I took my brother to uh, when my dad was too old to take me. So. Knowing that they'll all be there this week is pretty huge. And I'm sure there's gonna be uh, so many people that I've done something with or had a hand in their career or they had a hand in mine uh, through Hamilton and through Alpha One. So we'll see how it goes. I'm really nervous and super emotional, which is why I'm giving you such a dry intro because I'm trying to keep it all together, you know? Yeah. Big week, big week in my life. I'm not gonna say career, this is a lot more personal. Yeah, big week in my life. Thanks to everyone that got me to this point. And uh, hopefully by the end of this vlog, I'm smiling even more because um, I plan on eating like absolute <laughs> at all my favorite places just after Thursday. So we'll see how much Thursday night, Friday, Saturday driving back to Michigan. All right, let the fun begin. Cops Coliseum, here I come. First Ontario Center, whatever. I guess we can call this the summer of all ego Ethan Page because we're all over Canada. Yeah. Uh, when you heard the news that AEW was going to go on this long summer tour, uh, what was your reaction there? Truthfully, my reaction was, it's insane the fact that we're going to do a show in Hamilton. All Ego Ethan Page, no stranger Canadian wrestling fans, specifically Ontario wrestling fans. I, Ontario wrestling will always have a special place in my heart. I continue to kind of keep an eye on it and to follow certain talents. I still want to see a lot of my buddies succeed and get as far as they can in professional wrestling. I also ran a promotion in Hamilton and Oshawa 10 plus years. So I, I've had my hand in the Ontario wrestling scene in many ways. has always been my home and the fact that Tony brought AEW to Hamilton which is crazy to me that we're going to be performing in Cops Coliseum whatever it's called it's the first going, Ontario Center it's always going to be cops to anyone from Hamilton I agree it's just I agree it's be. am I supposed to eat it and then no no I, I, you already took a bite yeah don't worry you got to tell me though this is granddad's donuts Hamilton, Ontario, my favorite donut shop. I'm getting some on Friday. What's so the here's the thing, I'm in Hamilton, Ontario right now. Yeah. And you was telling me about this so-called donut shop. Yeah, I'm a yeah. big donut guy myself. Yes. And my favorite donut, maybe an unpopular opinion, but it's the jelly donut. It's unpopular to me, I don't like jelly donuts. All right, comment if you like jelly donuts because I like jelly Thank donuts. You. Thank I you. I think it's top tier. Comment your favorite donut though, but my opinion, jelly donuts is number one. Yeah. However, 
This donut, the jelly, the softness, the powder, I gotta give it a B plus. B plus? B plus. I'll take a B plus. B plus. You're a B New plus. York snob. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you, know what <laughs> you know what it's like? Think about a funnel jelly donut. Like you know the powdered sugar that they got oh, in the Oh, like funnel a funnel cake? cake? Yeah, yeah, but it's not, it's not crispy, it's hard. Yeah. Pause. Oh. I like that you said you want to split it with me and now you just ate the whole ass donut. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm shop sorry. AEW, go get my t-shirt. Hamilton, baby, gotta represent. <laughs> Even though you try to break my neck, but. No, we're boys now. Maybe. I can tell you. <laughs> All right, guys, just wanted to take a very quick break to remind you that tonight, literally tonight, the day you're watching this, if you're watching this on the first day, which is the Sunday at one o'clock. So if you're here right now, tonight at 8.30 on whatnot, auctionego.com, I'm auctioning off a bunch of amazing items. You want to tell them that they should join us at 8.30? Well, you'll be sleeping, but... 8.30? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. What if we could go get the toys we bought and show them on the... Oh no, Daddy doesn't do those anymore. Every once in a while, but not, not, yeah. Mine is squishy stuff, or mine? No, I'm sorry. Yeah. Great, I'm disappointing everybody, even my kids. Anyways, 8.30 p.m. tonight, Eastern Standard Time, auctionego.com. I'm auctioning off a ring jacket, 19. tights. Signed, PWI Magazine Centerfold Posters. We're auctioning off graded cards. Daddy, I'm trying to create them out. <laughs> I'm sure it's working. Graded cards, ring worn shirts, ring worn gear tonight, 8.30. And belts. No, we're not doing belts tonight. Daddy's got to win some. Bye. <laughs> Hamilton isn't really the most popular city in Canada and it was even traveling across North America making a name for myself. Everyone would say I was from Toronto and it would literally piss me off every single time. So I made it a point that everywhere I went when people announced me, it was from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. So the fact that AEW is bringing our brand of wrestling to my hometown, it's a dream come true. In Canada in general, Hamilton specifically, it's hard for the wrestlers to get their names out there and to be seen by the masses of the world. So I have been promoting events since I was literally 16 years old. From that, I found the best people in Canada and I gave them every opportunity that I could, whether it was being a referee, whether it was setting up a ring, whether it was sharing the ring with some of the greats all over North America. And through that, I grew in a huge fan base for Alpha One in Hamilton. And since then, I've found all those fans that supported Alpha One have been supporting me while I've been traveling the roads with AEW, trying to grow my name in this company around the world. All of those people still live here. They're still rooting me on, and I guarantee you they'll be here tonight, making as much noise as they can for me. This venue to me is historic. Like, I've sat in the seats with my father, and uh, I brought, I brought my brother here to watch wrestling. So to know that they're gonna be here tonight with my kid is something I never really expected. And I'm so glad that my feet still stick to the shitty floors and that the chairs are just as old as this venue. Getting to do this is like becoming world champion. Uh, it's something that I've been counting the days down since I was five years old. Now I'm 33, I'm still that kid on the inside, but I'm one of the best wrestlers in the world working for one of the best wrestling companies in the world and here we are in my favorite city in the entire world, Hamilton, Ontario. Nervous! <laughs>
Diego Ethan beat one guy from Hamilton. What a functioning champion. Can only imagine what's <laughs> coming up. All right, come on, fat boy, let's go. Let's go, fatty, come on. Come well, on, you tubagoo, hurry up. That's the guy who's got a you black want belt a in Putin. Shot? Let's go. I'm going to guess that his name is Steve Brown. Wait a minute. Wait. Whoa. Wait a minute, here comes Ethan Page. So, Ego, former henchman of MJF, they didn't exactly have the best breakup. Okay, hold on, buddy, this is cute and all, but you and I both know you're not on my left. Well. How many of us wanted to do that? Yeah, we're not doing this crap. Not tonight, and not in Hamilton, Ontario, buddy. You know, the crazy thing to me is that you were just about to tell me that I'm not on your level. Really? You have no clue what I'm even capable of. And everyone in the back that knows what I'm capable of seems to not give a crap. So why don't I remind them and you the cloth that Ethan Page is cut from? Max. My father came from Macedonia and moved to Hamilton, Ontario, and was lucky enough to get a job down the road at National Steel Car as a general laborer. And you know what everyone in his life said to him, the people at his work, his family, they told him, be happy. Make the money you're making. Enjoy this position, because that's all you can do. And you know what he showed me? Not to listen to people like you, the lazy the spoon-fed, the chosen. You know what you're not? You're not like my father. He went on to become a president of multiple companies and showed me the way. So Max, you wanna say I'm not on your level? You're right, I'm not, cause I'm not you. I'm not a bare minimum, bitch. Hamilton's own Ethan Page laying the track down on MJF. Quite a quandary for Mr. Max, isn't it? He's already defended the title tonight. So listen up, Max. You can walk around with the title all you want, but you know what you're not? You are not my world champion. Because when this company needs something, they don't ever call you. You know who they call? Ethan Page. Because I'm always here for the fans, for this company, and for those three letters, A-E-W. And when they asked Ethan Page on 24 hours notice to fly to Calgary to promote this very tour of Canada, I said yes. I called my wife and kids. I said I wasn't coming home. I flew to Calgary and I did my job. But you know what my wife said to me? She said, Ethan, when is this company ever gonna pay you back for all the extra you do? And you know what I told her? I said, in due time. Well, Max, now's that freaking time. You might be the AEW World Champion, but Ethan Page actually champions AEW. So how about this? 
You actually be a man for once and do something for this company. And you do what you said. You're gonna put the title on the line against anybody from Hamilton. I say you do it right here, right now, with me. MJF thought it would be an easy night, but Hamilton's own. Ethan Page on Canada Day. What's to take the top prize with an injured leg and all, Nigel? Yeah. Just enough boost, boy, adrenaline is powerful. Look at what it's doing, Ethan Page, driving him towards the finish line, towards that world title. All right. How's he gonna be able to hold? Oh, power slam! But the knee jam that he can't follow up. Oh, oh a dragon screw up. leg whip. And it is over. I did lose. I lost. I don't think I came up short, though. The worst thing is that everyone's gonna say to me, you almost touched the top. You were just this close. Everybody you love was there to see you win, but you came up short. I did not come up short tonight. The record will show that Ethan Page lost to MJF for the AEW world title in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, but I did not come up short. When I walked out, I knew I was fighting for myself, I was fighting for every single person that made sure I'd be in this position in the first place. Every single person from Hamilton, from the whole freaking country. My family was sitting in the front row and saw me almost, almost reach greatness. But you know what they also saw? They saw the referee ask me if I wanted to give up multiple times, multiple times. And every single time I said no. MJF had every opportunity to make me tap, make me quit, but I refuse, I refuse to give up. If I didn't show you, if I didn't show the locker room, if I didn't show my people in Hamilton that I have what it takes to be a champion, sure, then I came up short. Tell me I came up short now. I gave everything I had, and you know what? It breaks my heart to know that my family sat in the front row and saw me lose. But on my way to the back, I stopped to talk to my daughter in the front row. I told her that daddy was okay. This was not my last match. And I promised her that I would win gold in AEW. And I don't plan on breaking that promise. Back home in uh, Michigan. My uh, eye is kind of healing. <laughs> oh, there's uh, a lot that I'd like to say. I mean, you guys saw a lot of my post-match comments in that little video, but my biggest takeaway from everything was I got to accomplish a couple dreams. Um, I guess that's the first time anyone from Hamilton has wrestled in Cops Coliseum or the first Ontario Center for a major world heavyweight championship title. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm very proud. Most proud though that my father was sitting in the front row and I got to do that little speech on MJF, um, which I, everything was from the heart. That's why I was so passionate. Just yelling in this man's face. It was cool to feel the love of my hometown and to wrestle for the world title on Canada Day and for them to be so supportive. They, you have no idea. I, I actually thought I was gonna win the damn title. I believe, I believe I can. I believe I still have the opportunity to win a belt. That's my goal. I made the promise to Gabby. So that's the goal, is to become a champion. It, uh, the, the, the whole week, I mean, I got to visit family, uh, see so many people that I've missed for years. Uh, oh, after the match, we went to a classic post-show dinner. That's not fun. It's not fun. <laughs> hey man. Uh, we're this way. I wrestled for the world title tonight. It's pretty sick, I know. I know. Look at your eye. Yeah, that's pretty sick too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you, Max. 
All right, let's go to Boston Pizza. Hell yeah, I'm starving. Boston Pizza in Canada. There's no Boston Pizza in Boston, but there's one in Hamilton, Ontario. So we got to go visit some old wrestlers and uh, hang out with the people that kind of broke me in. And you know, another crazy thing too, is just the fact that Steve Brown, who gave me some of my first pro matches and pro shows and, and opportunities to wrestle in Ontario, that he was kind of a part of my big night. You know, it hurt me to kind of pat him on the back and send him to the back, but I mean, he's always been in my corner as a friend. So I figured, uh, why send a lamb to the slaughter when I could just send myself a Apparently. I saved you from this, Steve. You're welcome. Oh, man, I got real close though. Uh, thank you to the fans of Hamilton. Thank you to uh, Tony Khan for literally just doing an event in Hamilton. I can't believe it. It blows my freaking mind. I'm just uh, still can't believe that I wrestled in uh, Cops Coliseum, the home of the first ever Royal Rumble. Even, even the night before, you know, I've been pretty vocal about Billy Gunn being one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. My fourth favorite. He's stuck in the fourth spot. The top three kind of can interchange who's my favorite. But I, I, I love Billy. And to be able to scissor with Billy, that was incredible. You see all ego Ethan Page preventing any more damage from being done to the man that controls his contract. Ethan Page, this more maybe more of a, a business-minded decision than a humanitarian one. Oh, now look at this. Now they're trying to provoke, trying to egg him on. Carly Cameron, who doesn't know how to shut up. And I mean, again, Ethan Page is here at home in Ontario. Oh, he fell! Oh, yes! Page. Oh, oh. the thrust kick. Caught him from the side. The acclaimed top of the chain, so I bet you Anthony Bowen's daddy ass getting the ring, even in the odds. And look at how cute he Scurries away. Scissor me, Daddy Ass! Ah! The acclaimed top of the chain, so I bet you know the name. Getting all the fans entertained. The acclaimed running in the game, and we in our own lane. Everybody's saying that they want to be acclaimed. Nobody stopping the team. The acclaimed on the rise to the top of the scene. We the cream of the crop. It's an obvious thing. You will wind up on the dark side of the ring. Cause the thanks to everyone involved, for real. The people that came, the people that bought tickets, the people that didn't ask me for tickets and just came to the show. I love you. I love you for that. Thank you just for just supporting me. For real. Incredible feeling. Plus, I got to eat donuts. Granddad's donuts. This is what I've been waiting for. I didn't win the world title, but this is a victory to me. Grande's Pizza, my favorite two Hamilton food delicacies. Granddad's Donuts and Mr. Grande's Pizza. I devoured both after the match. So I got to really take in Hamilton one last time and uh, it was a great reminder to go to Hamilton and see where I came from and you know, see all the familiar faces and realize that I've achieved so much since starting in wrestling and to be proud of what I've accomplished and how far I've come. Yeah, we're still, we're climbing guys. Yeah, we're climbing. This is the tortoise and the hare. Ethan Page is clearly the tortoise, but I don't plan on giving up, not even for a second. So thank you to everybody who supported me for real. It means the world, so. Let's see what happens next. Gotta show you guys this though. Doesn't get any better than this. I love you, Hamilton. I always will. My son's away. See you guys. Ego, ego, me and my ego. He said I'm the man. Better than you people. Forever he 
my hero Never be an equal If you don't believe me, you can ask my ego I'm here, put me in your magazine, man of the year You know I'm more than worthy of your little cover story When I was a kid, my ego used to cover for me Way back when, even now, as men We go and hit the town just to watch the bags bend Me and my ego, two cedar black bends Oh, you have friends? I never needed those All I keep is foes, and my feelings froze Plus a couple evil secrets that my ego knows You a tool, needle nose, see them bleach your soul? I am why they pay the fee, I'm the one they came to see Ego, ego, me and my ego Hear no, see no, speak no evo We a team, yo, yeah, you know how we roll He said I'm a star, I should be the lead bro Ego, ego, me and my ego He said I'm the man, better than you people Forever he my hero, never be an equal If you don't believe me, you can ask my ego Yeah, the table for two Then I paid for the booth Like I done came with a crew Popping bottles by myself Seems stranger to you Inside five, my guy He is how I